Hello everyone. How are you guys today? Um, thank you for um, joining today. I know yesterday I wasn't able to do a Facebook Live lesson, so I'm really sorry about that. Um, I'm barely able to do one today. It's just been very, very busy for me recently, um, but I'm going to try and get my schedule back on track. So um, thank you for your patience, and I hope you're looking forward to today's lesson and um, all of the live lessons I have planned. Um, so before we get into today's lesson, um, if you haven't yet, could you please uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel? I really, really appreciate everyone who has subscribed so far. Thank you so much. Um, and also, uh, you can follow me on Facebook, uh, of course, YouTube and TikTok. So everything should be linked somewhere below. Hi, everyone. Hello from Madagascar. Hello from Egypt, Algeria. Hello, hello from Mexico. Very nice to see you all today. Thank you for joining. Okay, so in today's lesson, um, we are going to look at some common English expressions for getting things started and for hurrying, for hurrying up, okay? And all of these expressions use the word get, okay? Oh, hello, Tetetwin. Hello, Narindar. Hello, Ali. Hello from Pakistan. Hi, hi. Hello, everyone. Okay, so. Let's jump into the lesson, okay? Hello from Bangladesh. Nice to see you. Okay, so let's see here. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. This one, yeah, this one, okay. So expressions to get started. So we're gonna learn some natural English expressions and they all use get, okay? And they pretty much have the same meaning, okay? So let's look at the first one, okay? So the first one is get cracking. Get cracking. Has anyone heard this expression before? To get cracking, okay? Hello from Peru, Cambodia. Hi. Hello from Turkey, India. Very nice to have you here. Hello from Mexico, Bangladesh. Okay, let's get cracking, shall we? Okay, so get cracking. If you have not heard of this expression before, that's okay. Um, it is kind of an informal way to say, let's get started. So um, if I want to start the lesson, I could say, all right, let's get cracking. Let's get cracking. So it means um, to start doing something immediately, or we can use it to mean hurry, okay? Um, I did a little bit of research on the origin of get cracking, but um, my research was very brief, very short. Um, so I just learned that it came to um, American English in maybe the 1940s to get cracking, okay? Let's look at some examples, all right? So example number one, let's get cracking on this project, okay? Let's get cracking on this project, very good. Oh, hello from Cambodia, okay? So let's get cracking on this project just means um, that we want to get started. So let's get started on this project. Let's start right now. Hello, Brenda, nice to see you. Okay, uh, the second one, the second one means uh, or says, we should get cracking or we might miss the bus. We should get cracking or we might miss the bus. So get cracking here um, is more similar to hurry, hurry. So we should hurry or we might miss the bus, okay? So get cracking. Please remember, get cracking, to get cracking, to start something or to hurry, okay? Next one, 
a little bit longer. Don't worry, this is the longest one, I think, okay? Get the or this, we can use either. Get this show on the road. Get this show on the road. Um, so I think this expression probably comes from traveling performances. So um, like, for example, the circus, they would go from town to town, city to city. Um, so to get the show on the road would mean to like take your show to different places, okay? So here we would say um, it means to begin an activity or a journey, okay? So it means to start something or to start a journey, okay? Get this show on the road, okay? Uh, so here, examples. Uh, after months of rehearsing, so rehearsing, if you don't know, is like practicing something. So we would rehearse for um, a play, like if you're doing a Shakespearean play, you would rehearse practice. Or if you do the piano, you would rehearse. Rehearsing is usually practice for a performance, okay? After months of rehearsing, we were eager, very like excited, we're ready. We were eager to get the show on the road. So if you're practicing, 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 um, maybe after months of practicing, months of rehearsing, you are very excited to start performing, right? Maybe in front of an audience, okay? After months of rehearsing, we were eager to get the show on the road, okay? Uh, maybe another one. Once everyone takes their seats, we can get the show on the road, okay? So once everyone sits down, then we can start, okay? We can get this show on the road. Very good. So of course you can say start or begin, but if you really want to sound fluent and if you want to understand native speakers, you need to know these expressions, okay? Very good. Hello from Myanmar, okay. So next one, get the ball rolling. Get the ball rolling. You might have heard this one before. Um, I think this one we uh, is more often heard um, in like business situations compared to the other expressions, get the ball rolling. So it means to set an activity in motion. So to start something, make a start, okay? So if you um, roll a ball, the ball will continue to roll, right? Well, until it hits something, but it starts to roll. So it starts moving, moving, moving. So get the ball rolling means to get started, okay? So after the boss approves our idea, we can get the ball rolling. Okay, after the boss approves our idea, we can start. We can get the ball rolling. Okay, the next one, are you ready? I'd like to get the ball rolling. Okay, so if I start a, um, a lesson, a live lesson, and I could say, is everyone ready? I'd like to get the ball rolling. Okay, it means I'd like to start now. Okay, very good. Um, then, uh, I think this is the last one. We have get a move on, get a move on. This is probably the most informal, the most informal. It means hurry up. Um, maybe it's very close to get cracking, um, but to get a move on means to hurry up, okay? So hurry up, not start something, just hurry up. So um, be careful when using this one. Um, I would just use it uh, for people who you are very close with, maybe your close friends or family members. Um, I wouldn't probably use this with um, like in the work environment, right? Get a move on. If you tell someone to get a move on, you know, you're telling someone to hurry up. So 
It's a little bit stronger, a little bit stronger. So if we don't get a move on, we'll be late for class. So if we don't hurry, we'll be late for class, okay? So you can imagine if you're saying it to someone in this situation, it's probably your classmate, probably a close friend of yours. Then come on guys, get a move on. Come on guys. So you can he see here that it's quite casual. Come on guys, get a move on. Let's hurry up, let's go, okay? Very good. So let's try and make some example sentences. Okay, so try it, try it, okay? So we have one, two, three, four. So I'd like you to complete the sentences so you can write anything here, okay? So try and make your sentences. You can type it in the comments and I'll put it up on the screen. So number one, if we don't get cracking, something, 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 okay? So can you complete this sentence? So um, remember, get cracking means like hurry. If we don't hurry um, or if we don't start now, something, 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 okay? Oh, hello everyone who's just joining. I think... Um, some people got the notification late for some reason. Oh no, okay. Uh, I see. Oh, this is a good one. Let's get cracking, teacher. Very good, very good. Let's get cracking, teacher. So let's hurry up, teacher, let's hurry up. Very good. Um, let's see. Oh, this is a good one. If we don't get cracking, we may lost the chance. So be careful here. So if we don't get cracking, we may lose the chance. That's very good, very good. Okay, if we don't get cracking, we may lose the chance. Very good. Oh no, if we don't get cracking, we will be punished by the teacher. Oh no. Very good, yes, you might get in trouble with your teacher, right? If you don't hurry. If we don't get cracking, we cannot finish our deadlines. Excellent. If we don't get cracking, we will miss the bus. Very good. If we don't get cracking, we will be late. Very good, very good. Okay, how about number two? Number, number two, something, something, something. We can finally get this show on the road. So remember, get this show on the road means to start something or to start a journey, okay? To start a journey or to start an activity that was planned before, okay? Let's try number two. So maybe something, something, something. We can finally get this show on the road. I'll give an example. Um, let's see. Uh, once, uh, once our parents agree, uh, agree to the party, we can finally get this show on the road. So once we get permission from our parents for the party, we can start planning it, right? We can start the party. We can get this show on the road. Very good. Okay. I see a lot of examples for number one still. If we don't get cracking, we miss the train. If we don't get cracking, we we are going to miss the presentation. Oh, very good. Okay. The authorities decided to ease cautionary measures. We can finally get this show on the road. Nice. If we can raise enough money before the end of the month, we can finally get this show on the road. Very good example. Excellent, excellent, nice job. I like these examples. You guys are good at making them. If you decide quickly, we can finally get this show on the road. Very good. As soon as rain will start, we can finally get this show on the road. Interesting, so maybe you are waiting for the rain, you need rain, maybe you are planting a garden, you need to wait for the rain. 
Uh, now that we have eaten, we can finally get this show on the road. Nice example. So after eating, now you can start your activity. Very good. Okay. What country am I from? I am from uh, the United States, but I live in Japan. I'm teaching English in Japan. Okay. Number three. As soon as something, 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 we can get the ball rolling. As soon as something, 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 we can get the ball rolling. Let's see if you can make um, an example sentence. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the compliments, um, um, Ahmad, Ahmed. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see, what, what example could I give for number three? Uh, as soon as, as soon as he wakes up, we can get the ball rolling. So start something, get the ball rolling, put something in motion. As soon as he wakes up, we can get the ball rolling. It's, it's a very similar to get this show on the road. Okay. As soon as he permits, so he permits to go there, we can get the ball rolling. Very good. Maybe as soon as you get permission to go there, you can get the ball rolling. Very good. If the visitors arrived soon, we can finally get the show on the road. Very nice. Ah, as soon as we receive instruction from the boss, our boss, we can get the ball rolling. Nice job. As soon as the signboard is lighting up, maybe as soon as the signboard lights up, we can get the ball, uh, we can get this, yeah, we can get the ball rolling. That's the one we're on, <gasps> getting confused. Very good, very good. Okay. Uh, ah, this is a good question. To hit the road. What does it mean, by the way? So to hit the road is very similar um, to um, like uh, get this show on the road, to hit the road. To hit the road means to start your journey. So um, if we don't hit the road in five minutes, we'll be late, okay? So it means start your journey, but it's specifically for a journey. Very good, to hit the road. Okay, as soon as the client signs our contract, we can get the ball rolling. Very good. Okay, excellent, excellent. How about the last one, number four? If you don't get a move on, something will happen. It's very similar to if we don't get cracking, if we don't get a move on, very good. Ah, to hit the hay, to hit the hay. I did a whole lesson on to hit the hay. It is up on the YouTube channel. So if you search, um, if you search for go to bed, you will find my video. If you search on my YouTube page, go to bed or hit the hay, you will find that video. Okay. Excellent. So number four, let's see my example. I would say if you don't get a move on, you'll be fired. Oh no. <laughs> so if you don't hurry, you'll be fired. If you don't get a move on, the client will um, sign the contract with the other company. <gasps> oh no. And then you'll be fired. Uh oh. Okay. If you don't get a move on, we will miss the football match. Very good, excellent. If you don't get a move on, you could not meet the deadline. Maybe you would not meet the deadline, okay? Ah, interesting. If you, if you don't get a move on, we will be stuck here. Uh-oh, very good. If you don't get a move on, you will be punished. Wow, nice job. You will miss the train if you don't get a move on. Very good. If you don't get a move on, we couldn't chase your schedule. 
Ah, maybe we couldn't, we, we wouldn't, we wouldn't be able to follow your schedule. Is that what you mean? Good job. If you don't get a move on, the movie tickets will be run out. Very good. So I would say um, uh, when you use run out, maybe you, in this case, uh, something will run out. You don't need B, but maybe for movie tickets, I think instead of run out, we might say sold out. So if you don't get a move on, the movie tickets will sell out, sell out. Very good. Okay. Uh, oops. If my boyfriend doesn't get a move on, I will break up with him. <laughs> nice example, nice example. Maybe especially if you're talking about um, marriage or something. Ugh, if my boyfriend doesn't get a move on, I'm gonna break up with him. Good one. If you don't get a move on, your visa will expire. Great example. So before your visa expires, you gotta hurry up and maybe renew your visa, okay? Uh, let's see. If you don't get a move on, we won't catch their footprints during this hiking. Ah, oh, interesting. So if you're maybe following someone, um, you need to maybe follow their footprints. Um, if you don't get a move on, we won't, maybe we won't be able to follow their footprints. Very good. Okay. Uh, if you don't get a if you don't get a move on, you wouldn't catch the bus. Very good. Okay. Great examples, everyone. Nice job. So I hope that you can remember all of the expressions we learned today. There are four. Um, everything has to do with the word get. And they all are similar in meaning um, when it comes to hurrying or getting something started. So I hope you can use those uh, in your conversations. Um, and I'll try to use them in my lessons, right? Like, let's get cracking. Let's start the lesson. Let's get a move on. Okay. Very good, everyone. So um, if I could remind you to please like this video, share it with a friend who's also learning English. That helps me too. That helps me know that um, uh, you like the lessons. I really appreciate it. Um, you can follow me on YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram. I'm, I'm everywhere. Okay. Uh, let's see. If you don't get a move on, you will miss a breeze live lesson. That's true, that's true. Okay, oops, that's my YouTube channel. All right, very good. Uh, please do a session on the word hell. I will try, I will try to do that. Okay, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys for another lesson very, very soon. Bye everyone.